Yo. It's that Vegas heat. Oh. Yo, welcome to Innerbike 2016. My name's Issa Bakos, Federal and Team Manager. I'm Aggie, product designer. And we flew out here to Vegas, especially to film this video and show you that new Federal swag. Starting off with the frames, we've got the DLX, which is Lacey's signature frame. We've got it in two new colours, the raw and the blue. The frame looks insane. If you check inverted logo on the dropouts, real nice, right? There we go. Same again with the raw this time. A new one for Lacey. Another noticeable feature you may have noticed um, on the top gusset on Lacey's frame. Got the inverted logo again, just looks clean. And on the bottom, the regular Federal logo. Just another little touch I wanted to add, as well as on the seat clamp. The frame is um, brake friendly, the gyro tabs up here, brake mounts, um, invest, invest cast um, dropouts. Frame comes in 20.5, 20 27.5, 20 and 21. Next up, we've got the Anthony Perrin signature frame, um, coming in red and matte black, um, coming in 20.75 and 21. Any key features you want to point out, Ag? So the frame that we have in a line up with the shortest back end, 13.2, perfect for them real tech short maneuvers. It is, I mean, I run by myself, so you know about that. Next up, we've got the Churchill frame, which is Stevie Churchill's signature frame, obviously, I guess, the clues in the name. Um, looking at it, very similar construction to the pairing, like a real classic double diamond. Uh, main difference is going to be the geometry. It's uh, the one frame in the lineup we have with a slightly lower bottom bracket and a really specific head tube angle that Stevie wanted. It's actually 75.3 and a back end which is a tad longer than the pairings. Comes in a 20.6 and 21. Comes in burgundy and black. Last but not least, we've got Bruno Hoffman's signature frame. Probably my personal favourite, this one out of the range actually. Um, loads of features in this compared to his previous frame. We've got the Investcast dropouts on the back still, similar to Downs with the built-in chain tensioners. Pretty tidy looking. Uh, we actually also Investcast the bridges with the Federal logos. Uh, it's the only frame to have featured these so far. Tapered uh, the rear stays as well. Bruno's comes in um, different sizes compared to everyone else. Uh, 20.85, a 21 and a 21.25. Another thing to point out, um, we have on the frame, as you can see there, Bruno's new signature seat. Chow crew, represent, German squad. Check the sticker in the middle, German as it gets ready. Next up we have the range of seats we've got coming out for this year. Uh, we've got the first two I'm going to talk about here. The first one is the tie-dye seat, which will look similar to the version we had before, but we've actually increased the stitching thickness so it stands out more, which it, it felt like it got a bit lost on the ones before, so just to bump that up a bit, nice, nicer detail on it. Same thing moving on to the camo seat, again increasing how dominant the logo is. We've got the idea from hats really, like they have that bubble stitching, I'm not really sure what they call it, just thought it looked really cool. These ones, a um, little bit more simpler. Um, we got, we got the quality on the material, a bit more premium. Um, matching stitching um, with the logo. The logo just sitting more, more flush and obviously the one which bubbles out. Also have it come in orange also, the orange stitch in. Two new colours for this year we've got going on. We've got quite a loud orange for people and a more subdued khaki for those with the more classic look. Taking a look at the orange, we've got a black and orange tie, which I think Jordan's running right yeah. at the moment. Quite loud looking black that. Yeah. Um, with the seat which we've mentioned again and the orange all matches up and the grip that we've got in the marble grip. Available flange, flangeless. Same with the khaki version, available flange, flangeless. Black still available as well. And new for the grips this year, they're a new softer compound, so it should feel even better to ride in. Real um, Also, if you noticed, our pedals also come in the khaki colourway and black. Been really popular this year. And as well as the pedals, we also have the tyres in the khaki, as you can see here, built on a complete wheel. Mind tell us more about that, Ag? Okay, yeah. I'll Federal stance wheels, first of all, built on the stance rim. We've got it black here, also in the gold, available separately. Yep. Yeah. Um, but the wheel, right, okay. Starting off this one is the stance cassette wheel. We haven't done a cassette before, so we're pretty excited about this. Um, this particular wheel, nine tooth driver, male axle. It's also available on the female axle with its with 14mm female bolts. 
um, which is a good option that. Uh, built four cross, crazy strong, and also includes a non-drive side and drive side nylon guards. Available as a free coaster wheel as well, which again will also include the guards, and a matching front wheel, again, includes the guards. So grind happy people, get your grind on, I guess. First up, Stan's cassette. Dan's excited, obviously he's got a free coaster guy. It's available in standard male axle or this really cool one that has the female bolts but they're 14 so they're dead strong. Um, and super flush if you don't run pegs, although main advantage for this hub is that it comes with hub guards out the box, two plastic ones. Okay, a nice feature about the nylon hub guards on these is that they're not specific to cassette or the coaster. Um, so when you need to order it, it's really easy, you don't have to Specify you just order the Federal Hub Guard, either drive side or non drive side. The inside nip here is really narrow, crazy good, strong, but allow you to slam your wheel in. The free coaster guards, obviously, well, they're the same guard. Um, you buy them separately for the coaster, they'll obviously fit the new V4 coaster, but they will include hardware and you'll be able to fit them with any of the uh, previous Federal coasters. So finally, we've got a Hub Guard. I know it took a while, sorry, lads, but. You know. We've earned out. Yeah. Front hub, which we've had out for a little while compared to the others. Again, matching hub guards, um, female axles, just a nice, tight, small guard. Um, and then uh, an interesting detail, actually, not a lot of people know about with these, is if you were stuck in a bind, you could actually take the front hub guard off the hub and run it on the non drive side of the rear. You know. Could be Sunday and the shop shut, yep. it keeps you riding till, uh, till you get some more. Um, here we have is uh, Federal Vice Cranks. Um, in my hands we've got the chrome ones. Um, also available in black and gold. Um, coming in sizes 175, 165 and 170 in the middle. Two sprockets. First up we've got the solid sprocket you've called it. Um, which is what it says it is. Like it's a solid alloy sprocket with a a pattern based similar on our BBS rocket, which was a really good seller for us, but there are a few people out there that just wanted an alloy sprocket as opposed to a chrome wheel sprocket. I guess it's just what they know. Um, pattern looks sick though. If you like the wheels, then you like the sprockets. If you've got style, you like the wheels, believe me. Yeah. There you go. And then also a guard version of the sprocket, 24mm, obviously, to fit our 24mm cranks. Yeah. Uh, and they will also include the relevant spacer adapters to fit either 22mm or 19mm cranks. Sprocket is available in either the black finish or silver. We've got the Federal Plastic Pegs here. We've got the Classic 4.14, which we've had out for a little while, and we've uh, now just introduced the 4.5 inch. We decided to change things up a little bit. Uh, we've made the plastic bit 30% thicker. Uh, we've also increased the area of metal on the bottom for a bit more support. Uh, both of these available with either alloy cores for lightweight or steel cores for Peg smashers. Last but not least, um, we've got the four piece bars. We've always had these available in nine inch and 10 inch, but this year, what is new is they're available in 9.5. Um, a couple of riders were asking us um, about having, having, that, having that size available, so we've gone with it, and available in black and chrome. Cheers for watching, guys. Uh, we're about to leave Vegas and head back home. Got a Leon trip with the guys lined up. It's going to be our fourth instalment um, of our video products we've been filming this year. If you haven't watched them already, um, we've got a trip um, from Prague, Amsterdam, and the Budapest one will be dropping anytime soon now. Head over to the website where you can see all the products we've been talking about today and our videos at federalbikes.com. Peace from me, peace from Maggie. One love.